children of Palestine. Under the broken concrete, you hold your breath, you cover your mouth with a cloth, you walk faster, your neighborhood has become a graveyard. All that was familiar is gone. You stare in amazement. You wonder where you are. You are afraid. You cling to your mother or father. You cover your ears and wait for the blast. Why do they kill children? What did you do? Why can't anyone protect you? Will you be wounded? Will you lose a leg or an arm? Will you go blind or be in a wheelchair? Why were you born? Was it for something good or was it for this? Will you grow up? Will you be happy? What will it be like without your friends? Who will die next? Your mother? Your father? At night you lie in the dark on the cold cement floor. You do not know what is happening. There are flashes of light. There are waves of blast concussions. There are screams. It does not stop. Are these your last moments on earth? You drink salty, dirty water. It makes you very sick. Your stomach hurts. You are hungry. The bakeries are destroyed. There is no bread. You do not fly your kite made from old newspapers. You have seen foreign reporters. We appear after a bombing or a shooting. We sit over a coffee for a long time and talk to the adults. Then we disappear. We do not usually interview children. But I have done interviews when groups of you crowded around us. But not this time. We cannot get in. We are locked out. Reporters from all over the world are going to the border crossing at Rafa. We are going because we have children like you, precious, innocent, loved. We are going because we want you to live. I hope one day we will meet. You will be an adult. I will be an old man although to you I am already very old. In my dream for you, I will find you free and safe and happy. No one will be trying to kill you. You will fly in airplanes filled with people, not bombs. You will not be trapped in a concentration camp. You will see the world. You will grow up and have children. You will become old. You will remember this suffering, but you will know it means you must help others who suffer. This is my hope, my prayer. We have failed you. This is the awful guilt we carry. We tried, but we did not try hard enough. You will go to Rafa. Many of us, reporters, who will stand outside the border with Gaza and protest. We will write and film. This is what we do. It is not much, but it is something. You will tell your story again. Maybe it will be enough to earn the right to ask for your forgiveness. Thank you.